Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use Crystal Reports to make a connection to the message tracking logs in Exchange Server. The exact process for doing this has changed a bit from version 10 to version 11. In Crystal Reports 10, to create a connection of this kind, you would click the small plus sign next to the message tracking log folder under the Create New Connection folder within the Database Expert dialog box. In Crystal Reports 11, you can click the small plus sign next to either the Exchange 5.5 message tracking log folder or the Exchange message tracking log folder, depending on whether or not you are accessing the message log from an Exchange Server 5.5 or from a more recent version. Once you've made your selection, you'll be presented with the MS Exchange message tracking log dialog box. We use this dialog box to access the data from the message tracking log created by an Exchange server. In order for this feature to be of any use, however, message tracking must be enabled on the desired Exchange server. If tracking is enabled, then each component that handles mail records its activities to a log file that is maintained on the system, recording the processing of each mail item. By default, this log file is typically located in a folder using the following general syntax, forward slash forward slash server name, forward slash folder name, forward slash exchange server, forward slash tracking dot log. And a file is created for each day and uses the general syntax of year, 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 month, month, day, day, dot log to designate the information. You can either click the remote browse button to launch the select a network drive dialog box, or you can click the local browse button to launch the choose directory dialog box. And you use the dialog boxes to select the log file which you want to use for the report. Once selected, you would just click OK, and that will return you to the MS Exchange message tracking log dialog box, where you can click OK once again to launch the Enter Message Tracking Log Dates dialog box. From here, you would input the date range of tracking data to pull by entering the date information in the from year, 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 month, month, day, day, and to year, 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 month, month, day, day sections. And when you were ready, you would just click OK to finish creating the data connection. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.